enjoying using these paints. Um, I've done a swatch here just to show you what they're like straight out of my little box but um, I chose six colours. I chose this Forest Muted Green, so it's a lovely dark green there. Um, and I chose a lighter shade of green, which is this Saladonite, um, which is this one here, a very pale one. Um, then I chose a beautiful shade of, I would have called it, um, it's, it kind of looks like a, a pinky sort of shade, a pinky brownish shade, but it is called Côte d'Azur Violet. Um, and that one is this one here. Um, then I got Burnt Sienna, which is this really rich earthy brown. And I got the Black Moon, which is this beautiful dark indico, indigo kind of bluey grey black shade. Um, now this one was actually, this one came as a whole pan, there wasn't the option to have it as a half pan, uh, either that or I decided I really wanted a full pan, um, but what I ended up doing, because the full pan didn't quite fit into my watercolour case here, I actually ended up breaking it in half and I've put half of it in here and I've kept the other half safe. So that's been working fine for me. Obviously it's, at first it was a little bit wobbly in there, but as I've been adding water to it, it's been sticking itself to the pan. So that worked out fine. And the other color I ordered um, was a, an ochre um, shade, which is this one here. You might have noticed in, in the first part of the video that this sample card is actually a different one. This sample card is Epidot, but um, they are very similar indeed, so that's probably why there was the confusion there. But I did get the one that I ordered, which was the sort of gold, um, gold ochre shade. And then I also got sent a dot card with two colours on, these beautiful ones here. And those colours are two colours from the Oslo range. So there's Water by the Pier and then there's Free, He Wanted to be Free, which is like a, got a copper blue in it. So I, I assume uh, this one here is Water by the Pier and this one here is the Free, He Wanted to be. Now I've actually had my eye on this one, but there weren't any in stock when I bought the others. Um, so I'm really, really pleased to be able to um, try these out um, to get a feel for them. And this blue is just really, really beautiful. Both all the shades that I've bought and the two samples, I absolutely love. I, I love how they're muted, very muted, very subtle, um, delicate. Um, and I'm just absolutely loving them. Um, what you might have noticed is I actually managed to get my sample dots off of the cardboard. It came on a cardboard piece of card like this um, and I spent a while peeling it off and getting the paper off of the back of it and then I kind of just squooshed it into these pans um, which is brilliant because I don't have to worry about how much water I'm putting on them now. Um, so, and because they were generous dots, they've managed to sort of fill the bottom layer of the pan. So um, that's really good. And I also did the same with Eve Bolt's colors. Um, her shop on Etsy is called Pruche. And when I bought some colors from her, I bought three colors. Um, and she also sent me some metallics, which I've got in a different case. But she also sent a dot of zircon yellow, and I did the same here. I peeled it off and I like squooshed it into the bottom of the of the thing uh, of the pan. Um, so now I've got a little set here, which is a combination of every eventually everything mixes and Pruche watercolors. And right now, this little set is my absolute favorite. I've really been enjoying using them. Um, 
Eve's colours go really well with Amé's colours um, and I've even been using them recently to do some sketches for some pattern designs so I mean this page contains a, a mishmash of all sorts of media but I was using um, for example um, one of my favourite motifs here, this flower, um, I was using the indigo from Eventually Everything Mixes and the other colour is the salmon colour from the Pruche range and those two together I am just in love with those two colours together um, so yeah I, I love that um, and then a few more examples on this sheet here um, Again, it's a mix of both of the brands and yeah, just experimenting really. Um, and the, I, I just find that the colours that I bought from both shops, um, Pruche and eventually everything mixes, just go really well together. Um, so yeah, lots of experimentation and little watercolour doodles have been happening and I've actually made these into some patterns. Um, on the computer now so I'll insert a few pictures at the end of this video but for now that's kind of everything um, so I am super happy with this little palette at the moment and I adore all the colours um, and yeah I'm looking forward to using them more so thanks for watching I will put the link to Anna's shop eventually everything mixes in the description um, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. So I will see you next time!